don't know how to discipline children? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Bro, so, oh, oh, damn. <laughs> Today we got Haminations. My brother almost died 18 times. This is my first time reacting to Haminations. Pops up on my feet. I'm like, why not react? You know what I'm saying? Hey, Brenner, if you jump off this cliff right now, I'll give you a What the? Bro, are you that depressed? God damn. Oh. Hi, I'm Bryson. And a <laughs> while ago, I made a video about the times I almost died and the times I got hurt really bad. Okay. But that got me thinking about the other injuries in my family. And one sibling came Like? Out, one who would dodge the grasp of death more times than I can count. The sibling who had little to no regard for his own mortality and would regularly hurt himself. The wild child. Why would he do that? The youngest brother, Brenner. This is going to be a long video. Because Brenner. Hey, what the? He just threw him on the floor like he's a, like, like he's a bag of trash, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't fit the trash in the, in the trash can. You just throw it on the ground. Bro, that's your old brother. A lot. I don't want to cut out just like... stories or do a part two, so let's just sit down, relax, grab some popcorn, okay, you know and laugh what? at my brother's pain. Now, almost all of Brenner's injuries all were right. self-inflicted. However, I think it's only right we start the video with Brenner's very first injury, the one he got from me. Brenner had recently been- Bro, it looks like all the injuries were from you. ...into the room to say hi to my new baby brother. As I said hello to him, he reached out his hand and scratched my chest. Now, obviously, Whoa. Brenner was just a baby. He had no control of his body and was just moving around. Bro, it's just a baby, my yeah. My four-year-old brain could not let this slide. Oh, my How gosh, bro. dare you? First, you come into my house, take Bruh. my spot as the cute youngest child, and take all the attention from my parents. And now <laughs> this, I offered you my hand in friendship, and you attacked me. You must pay rent. Bro, for it's your just actions. a baby. Hey, bro, chill. No, stop. Just calm down. Don't do it. Calm my down, bro. Tried to stop me, but it was too late. I reached out and scratched him back. Oh my, my gosh. Me in timeout. Little did Brenner Bro, they need to put your thick ass in timeout, bro. Scratched him back. He began to cry, and my bro, you just scratched a baby. Little did Brenner know his pain had just begun. Okay, in all seriousness, I felt really bad for what I did. Even yeah, you now, should. I still regularly apologize to Brenner about it, but he can't. Okay, I love you, brother. I guess. Brenner, my conscience has really been getting to me lately, and I'm so sorry about what I did. Dude, that was 17 years ago. Can you just move on? <laughs> for real. Okay. Thank you. I love you, brother. Hey, W, little so brother. I could get that off my chest. <sighs> oh Can my. my pain video where my. Bro, what? But no wonder you say sorry so many times. You say sorry for something every day. Brother Brody slammed the door in my fingers. Yeah. Apparently that experience runs in the family. Brody walked through a door as a young Brenner was sticking his fingers in the hinges and Brody slammed the door again. Brenner's fingers bent. Oh, bro, that just sounds like it hurts. If I had a nickel for every time I Bro, that literally, bro, that reminds me of like, you know when you stub your toe, like that's for Oh my god, bro. It me making you want to just punch the wall, bro. Like the wall's just there, but you just want to like punch a whole hole through it, bro. Because like, what the hell are you stubbing my toe for? But like like what you doing that for? Brenner's fingers. I ain't do nothing you. Way. If I had a nickel for every time I slammed a sibling's fingers in the door, I'd have two nickels. That isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Luckily, Brenner's what? fingers didn't break and the doctors fixed him up. Feel better soon, buddy, and don't get into any more trouble. I will make no such promises. One time, <laughs> Brenner were playing tag, yeah. and rather than be tagged by me, he jumped into a busy street and a car barely avoided him. Oh, damn. Because Brenner was more willing to die than lose at tag. Would you rather die? Bro, tag is not that important, man. Death. Wait, you didn't hear the other option. Death. I genuinely don't know why he is so What's wrong with this name? But this next story was no accident. You know how sometimes your mom has a really good friend, so she decides to make you hang out with her friend's children, but you don't like them? Yeah. Bro, when that's I facts. Younger, I did not like that. Me and Brenner to play with the neighbor kids. Well, it wasn't really. It wasn't friends though. It was like like family members. Like you know, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, you know, you have those family members, those cousins that they try to make you play with, but they like annoying as hell. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. The main reason I didn't like Jake was because he said, Your sister is so hot. Ew, bro. 18. Jake and I were eight. Oh my. You considered shutting up. How are you anyways, floating like that? Okay. Tolerating Jake's shenanigans, but eventually I hid nah. from him on the front porch and watched Brenner and Steven play in the front yard. Come here, Brenner. I want to show you something. 
Brenner walked up to him. Stephen grabbed his hand, reached into his pocket, and pulled out a pair of scissors and started cutting Brenner's fingers. Yo! I what ran the over to them to check on Why Brenner. is he doing his that? Were bleeding and he was crying. I slapped the scissors out of Stephen's hand. Bro, slap him now! And forced him inside to his mom. Hey, Stephen just Bruh. cut Brenner's fingers with scissors. Yeah, no, nah, you tweaking, boy. And what, what you smiling for? What you smiling? What are you smiling for, bro? Nah, nah, this, bro. He's tweaking, bro. There's some badass kids, bro. Watch his mom's not. Watch his mom's not even gonna do nothing but say like, "Oh no, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that, bro." Like, bro, watch, 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 watch. Hey, Steven just cut Brenner's fingers. With they don't get scissors. punished. Hmm? <sighs> oh, Steven. What? You that see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro, I literally called it, bro. I literally called it. Would you be, oh, Steven? Like, bro, that was, bro, if I did that when I was young, my mom, bro, I would've get, I would've been in a slap contest with my mom, bro. Call my mom right now so she can pick us up. We but she's just contesting with my we face. I'm not contesting. fingers healed just fine. But still, that reaction from the mom was not okay. Nah, Lucky because she's crazy to too, bro. Again. Reminds me of another time Brody was really- Oh, hell no. Nah. boy was punching him. My mom took the kid what to the his hell? mom and told her that his son was hitting Brody. And all she did was say, <laughs> soft hands, Hunter. I mean, come on. Oh, soft my hands? God. You're not punishing your kid for hitting a stranger. For you real. clearly don't know how to discipline children. Here, I'll show you how it's done. So, so oh, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> bro, I got a flashback to my childhood, bro. Oh, my God. With that chunk line, bro. Oh, my God. ...were caused by him wanting to grow up fast and to keep up with his older brothers. For example... Oh yeah, we playing ball. My turn. Yeah, make that shit. What, bro? What? Right you know what? You know what? Just because you missed that bad, bro. Like, <laughs> I was about to say he deserves to hear it. I'm just playing, bro. But like, bro, why did you miss that bad? Spinning wheels on his bike, so neither do I. Oh, we should probably be counting how many times he actually almost died, try. huh? Oh my god! What kind of hard ass trampoline? And the consequences were severe. This next story is the real reason I made this video. I'm honestly still surprised that Brenner survived this. It was bad. In our basement, we had a tall exercise machine. What is that? Like this. Brenner decided that he wanted to climb it and jump off it onto our beanbag for fun. However, Bro. this time it went horribly wrong. Does this guy just want to die? pushed the beanbag close to the machine, climbed up, and jumped head first with the same oh my that God. a player has when seeing one block of water at the bottom of the <laughs> Part of the beanbag covered the exercise Yo. bench, which extended out, hiding the big metal part underneath. Brenner wow. thought that since there was part of the beanbag there, it would be soft. But his head slammed no, the beanbag into the no. metal and he split his forehead. Are you wide dumb? Open. Are you dumb, bro? <laughs> Mom and Brittany came running into Brenner crying with blood all over him. He the screamed out and dashed him out of the house to take him to the hospital. Oh I my god! I got a glimpse of him as they ran out, but I could tell it was bad. Brittany and yeah, Mom later pretty bad. That they could see Brenner's skull through the gash in his head. Ew. My dad sent me to a friend's house so they could watch me while my parents took care of Brenner. I remember sitting on their stairs, terrified that I'd never see Brenner again. God, now that's crazy. My prayer. If you make Brenner be okay, I promise I'll never be mean to him again. That's Cap. You know you're Cap, bruh. At the hospital, <laughs> since Brenner was so accident prone, they kept pointing to cuts on his head that were from previous shenanigans. Sheesh. Is this cut old or new? Yeah, he's messed Is up, this bro. Cut old or new? Is this old or new? Finally, my sister was like, <laughs> "This, the gaping gash on his forehead, that is new. Forget the rest of it. Fix that." Yeah, that's, that's kind of facts. Like, what you guys, what you guys doing, bro? Fix the damn head. Plastic surgeon involved in fixing. What the head. hell? When I next saw Brenner. What the hell? Pushed him up. I think you can't even tell oh, why his face look like this right now. Had a plastic surgeon involved in and it looked like that after, like what? Saw Brenner, he was like a bitmoji. Twenty five stitches in his head, but he was okay. Phew! I thought you were gonna die, Brenner. I'm so glad you're okay. Bro, why are you shaking him like that? Like you just got twenty stitches in his head. Anyway. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Yo! Wait, where, where did that sign say? Going to heaven, not Bryce. Yeah, you're not going, bro. But 
thanks to the doctors, he was okay. Brunner, can you please calm down on the injuries? You're gonna die if you're not careful. It's not hard to die. I could do it, like, right now. But, like, number two... <laughs> Another time, a young Brunner was using the bathroom what? and found a bottle of painkillers on the countertop. They were coated in a sugary glaze to make them go down easier. So Brenner took the pills Bro. one by one and sucked on them till they ran out of sugar. What you mean sucked on them? He did this over and over and over, and from sucking on the pills, he got sick and passed out. I'm a tired. Ooh. Bro, you're not supposed to my eat those like candy. Unconscious on the bathroom floor, surrounded. Oh my. By what? <laughs> and once again, the doctors proved why it's good to go to college. N not for me though, but as for you, <laughs> it's good for you. I don't know how they saved him, honestly. I don't really know how doctors work. For all I know, they could have removed all of Brenner's blood, which what the fuck? drugs, thrown it away, then pumped him up with fresh blood. Bro, you could know. do that? Another time, he swallowed- I didn't know you could do that! Coins, and again, my parents rushed him to the hospital where he was x-rayed to show a pile of coins in his stomach. They told my poor parents to dig through his, ahem, waist until they Whoa. got- Whoa! He was like a piggy bank. Ew, they had to dig through his- Bro, why you tooted up like that, bro? Wait, hold on, bro. Wait. Got all the coins. He was like a piggy bank, but way what the... more disgusting. Why you tooted up like... Pause, bro, pause. He was like a piggy bank, but way more disgusting. Honestly, with how Bruh. often Brenner visited the hospital, I'm surprised they didn't have a special section of the hospital just for him. This next story <laughs> for is real, bro. the only time that Brenner has ever broken a bone. But that hospital bill is crazy. At this point that he would have no bones left because of how often he gets hurt. But nope, he still has bones. My family has a small this motorcycle cup of a bone? called Big Bertha. It's fun to ride around on, but it has no suspension. It is two wheels and a motor. That's it. One day, Bro. Brenner was driving it, and despite knowing that Big Bertha had no suspension, he decided to ride it off a curb. Oh Mike my bounced, gosh. Swerved and lost control. Here we go. Head over handlebars. <laughs> he landed on his arm Bro. and totally snapped his wrist. One hospital trip later, and Brenner had a cast. He wanted his cast to be unique, so he How many times is he gonna get hurt? To look like Thanos' gauntlet. So I got the paint out and painted it as best I could to look like the gauntlet. It looked pretty cool in my opinion. But then later, Brenner's yeah, arm pretty got cool. itchy. The doctors told him that his arm would be itchy at first, but that if he ignored it, the itchiness would go away. They also specifically told him to leave the cast alone and to not shove anything into the cast to try and scratch his itch. However, Bruh. the itch got the better of Brenner. So without consulting anyone, no, I ain't gonna lie, that itch, that itch when you have a cast is crazy, bro. I had a cast for a couple months, you know, I did like fracture my wrist, bro. That itch is oh my gosh, bro. You it make you wanna just I don't know, use your butt cheeks. I don't know, bro. Like you gotta use something, bro. You gotta his cast in an attempt to scratch his itch. He pulled the glasses out only to realize that the little rubber covering had slipped off and it was now stuck in the case. Oh he my gosh. And recover the rubber cover. Brenner somehow removed all of the soft wrappings underneath the cast, leaving Bro. only the hard outer shell. Brenner had scratched his itch and was satisfied. You, then you going to get hurt just with that? Had done. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that mom stresses hair. Oh, God damn. She want to break his wrist again? <laughs> hey, sometimes you got to get these kids some weapons, man. Went back to the hospital and explain the situation. Can you imagine being a doctor and setting someone up with a nice cast to help them heal, and the next thing you know, they ruined it? I feel like the maid. I just cleaned up this mess. Can we keep it? Yeah, that's crazy. For, for ten minutes. <laughs> they had to cut <laughs> off his Thanos cast and make another one for him. Brenner got home. Bro, don't destroy this one. His new cast. No, I spent a lot of time painting that last one, and you ruined it. How do I know you won't ruin it again? Come on, yeah, that's man. crazy. Just paint it again. Why? Why should I be penalized because of your sloppiness? So Brenner went around wearing <laughs> Bro, these voiceovers. cast rather than a cool Thanos cast. A few months later, the doctors took off the cast and they realized okay. that Brenner's arm had healed crooked. It was literally oh. like a 15 degree angle. My mom pointed this out and the doctor said, Yeah, well, it's within the range of crookedness that we consider to be acceptable, so we're just gonna leave. <laughs> bro, L doctor, bro. What? That's easy for you to say. You're not the one who has to live with a crooked arm. Fix his arm and do it right this time. Hey, so that's the crazy. Explained that in w order press. To it, they would have to re break Brunner's arm, angle it correctly, and recast it. Yo, that's actually facts, though. That's actually facts, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know if you guys can see my pinky, but look, bro. It's crooked. I'm putting it straight up right now. It's not moving. Look, look. 
bro my shit is broken and the only way to get it fixed is if i re like break it so that it can grow like the right way if i get like a cast or something but, like i don't want to do it bro i don't want to do it but like i don't want to do it I I'll, I'll live with this bro like i'm good hey, i'm good bro Oh my god! <laughs> what the break, fuck? But not without pain. Yo. Now you would think that after breaking his arm on Big Bertha, the Brunner would never touch that thing again, right? Nope. Yeah, a smart Let person. Let me tell you one last story. One day, me and Brunner got bored and decided to go for a ride. Him on Big Bertha. And oh me and my Michael gosh! Why would you let him go? Around a parking lot. But Why did you I let him go in the go kart? Then I make racing around more interesting, and my mind went to my favorite racing game, Mario Kart. You know, oh my god, here we go. He's gonna do something stupid. Items at them. So I decided to drive by Brenner and throw my flip flops at him. Bro! Back and forth throwing flip flops at each other like green shells. Are you so throwing chocolates? Then I zoomed by and got a good flip flop strike on Brenner. And he Damn. wanted to retaliate with something stronger. He grabbed a big tree branch. A whole tree? Towards me. God he damn! Branch and I swerved out of the way. But the branch was so heavy that Bruh. swinging it threw Brenner off balance. Oh he my gosh, bro. Over the handlebars once more. Again. Back to the hospital we Freaking go. Again. <laughs> Brenner was scraped and bruised, but luckily nothing broke. Oh, and nothing broke, okay. He learned his lesson and he doesn't drive Big Bertha anymore. Yeah, but just I go ahead and destroy that thing, bro. <laughs> God damn! Yo! Are the video, and yet, how are you not? All of Brunner's injuries. How are you not in the Talking about them, this video is going to be 30 minutes long, and at that time, he'll probably injure himself again. Let's quickly get to the last stories. Lightning round. We visited a janky aquarium that let you swim with sharks, and a bamboo shark bit Brenner's finger. Brenner went Bro. to the trampoline park, attempted a stupid trick, and landed on his head and had to wear a neck brace for a few weeks. Brenner and Brenner Bro, how do you get her to a trampoline park? Splash Brenner with the paddle, but it skipped off the water, slammed into Brenner's face, and cracked his foot. Oh my the gosh, bro. Over him as a child, but he hung onto the bumper while being dragged, and my sister stopped the car to save him. His friend, that sounds like it hurt. Shot him in the forehead with a BB gun, and his forehead still has a dent. What the in fuck? In conclusion, Brenner's guardian angel is built different because she is oh god more times than i can count and as much as we <laughs> make fun of him i am grateful for that as he has grown i think he has gotten a little less accident prone let's hope it keeps you think so in that direction because i'm pretty sure he has used up all of his nine lives yeah god he yeah. sent his soul back to the living world so many times at this point that if brenner shows up there again god might just say oh <laughs> and keep him well, hey Yo. It could be worse at least his soul is going to heaven yeah because you tripping bro Nah, nah, hey you guys, tripping because you kept hurting him. <laughs> Thanks for watching. It's been a while. Yo, hey, that was a W video. That was a W first time watching this, man. If you guys like this, make sure you smash that like button and uh, comment down below. Any other videos you guys want me to watch, hop in my Discord. I also check those for videos. And yeah, man, I hope you guys are having a great day, great night whenever you're watching this. <laughs>